Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to render a 3D project with Cinema 4D and Redshift at iRender. We'll test the project with 8 GPUs RTX 3090 and see how great it is. Let's get started. First, let's go to iRender's homepage and log into the personal account. On the iRender console, we see the download section. Please select the appropriate GPU Hub Sync version for your computer. This application is used for transferring data. After the installation is complete, log into GPU Hub Sync by entering your credentials. Here we see there are two drives, Z and X. You are allowed to use Z drive to upload and download your projects. Here, we'll upload the C4D project to the Z folder. After uploading the file, let's go back to the website screen to boot the server. You can create a server with many different options here, but today we are looking at the capacity of 8 RTX 3090 GPUs at the same time so, we will select this and create. Because we already created and used the server with 8 RTX 3090s, now we just need to boot it. Watch the video and notice what we do. It will take 5 to 10 minutes to boot a computer, please wait. After performing the boot step, you will be asked to download an RDP file to connect your computer with the remote server. Open it and access the server. Please log into your account here, and ask us to issue your Redshift software unlock if you don't have key active. Copy the project just uploaded from Z Drive to desktop or anywhere you want in C Drive. Here you can copy the software you want on the X Drive to the C Drive, then install it. Or, download it from anywhere you want, just keep in mind that installing software should be done on a hard drive like C or desktop. Now open the 3D project and start rendering. You can open Task Manager and check if there are enough GPUs and their performance. In the Video and Code section in GPU, please change to CUDA so you can clearly see how the GPUs are working. After rendering is complete, copy the rendered folder to the Z drive. Then exit software such as C4D or Redshift with an X on the screen. When you finish these steps, remember to go back to the iRender console and click the shutdown button to turn off the remote server. Now copy the output folder on the GPU Hub Sync to your computer and admire the result. We are happy to guide you on how to use the iRender service and show you the performance of rendering on multi-GPS. Thanks for watching the video. iRender, happy rendering, happy training.